Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another Fire Emblem Heroes Abyssal Clear. Today we are taking down the legendary hero, the star of Fodlan, the Enlightened One, Byleth, who uh, is here to test our professor uh, and ensure that he is ready to uh, learn new power from him. Uh, to do so, he has set up a recreation of the Battle of Garrick Mach. Uh, as a training exercise, and uh, we are going to show all that we have learned and all that we have taught to uh, Byleth and his students. Uh, so this map isn't too bad. Uh, the main issue is Byleth himself who hits really hard, also has hardy bearing so you can't try and like vantage stratum. Uh, but other than that, not too bad. Uh, the enemies kind of just funnel down towards you so you have time to pick them off as they approach. And there's no real uh, big unit that's a real issue, uh, like the Savior Knights on Ashera's map. Uh, most of the units are pretty standard stuff, uh, nothing too difficult to deal with. Uh, so with that said, let's take a look at the Professor and the uh, units he has selected for this battle. Uh, of course we have uh, Byleth, who is running a uh, mixed phase setup to uh, lead us into battle. Uh, he is running Gale Force to help him pick off enemies as they approach, uh, but he also has Distant Counter and Close Call to uh, let him tank at some key moments. Close Call uh, also uh, helps his mobility a bit. Uh, joint Drive Attack and uh, Brazen Attack Speed give him a little more oomph uh, in both phases, uh, so that's very helpful. Uh, next is our uh, teacher's assistant, uh, Sedith, is here to support. Uh, and mostly he is supporting with uh, Drive Attack and Speed Death Rain alongside his Spear to uh, boost uh, everyone's stats up a bit. Uh, but he also has a Guard Bearing and Attack Speed Push to give him a little more survivability uh, and hit a little bit harder. Next is our dear daughter Morgan who has been learning quite a bit of uh, tactical knowledge from our dear professor. She is here to assist him. Uh, with uh, mostly her tactics, but she also has drive speed and joint hone speed to help boost everyone's speed even higher. Uh, other than that, she can tank with her very solid res and uh, also hit pretty hard on uh, when she initiates. Uh, nothing too special there. And then finally, uh, our second student is uh, the tactician in training from Nor, our little brother Leo. Uh, who has also been studying under the professor and uh, is here to support uh, mostly with mobility, uh, but he also can take some hits here and there. Uh, but yeah, mostly he's here to uh, help move units around the map. So uh, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and begin our exam. All right, so to begin, we are going to uh, move everyone's positions around and we're going to start by having uh, the students bring our Sedith and Byleth up and Byleth is going to move up one space so that he can bait out the Axe Fighter and the Red Flyer. Uh, Sedith and Morgan are on standby to support and we will pass turn with that. Uh, the Red Knight uh, rallies everyone. Red Flyer uses their Blade Tome to attack Byleth, but we reduce the damage and kill on the counterattack. Next, the Axe Fighter moves down, but a similar story. Uh, we take the hit and chop chop. Take him out. Goodbye. Uh, everyone else moves into position. Uh, we are now going to uh, attack the Bow Cavalier and take him out. Goodbye. Uh, trigger our Gale Force and move over and take out the Green Thief before they become an issue. There we go. And now we are in range of Byleth, which is uh, not a good place to be. So we're going to have Sedith move over here so that he can support with his spear. And we're going to have Leo reposition the Professor out of danger. But now he's in range, so we're going to have Morgan pull Leo out of the way so that he can tank this Lance Cavalier. And... With that, we will pass turn. Blue Mage will move down to attack Morgan, uh, and we will tank the hit. 
Uh, we can't take them out, but uh, we will zap them with the railgun and uh, shock him into uh, just standing there. Lance Cavalier attacks in Leo. We will retaliate by splashing juice over him, uh, hit him in the eyes, and uh, get him all soaked. So he has to leave the uh, leave the mock battle and go change. <laughs> Uh, now we will uh, move Morgan down just one space so that she's on standby to uh, support the professor with her joint hone speed. Uh, and we will have Leo come up and attack the blue mage. Finish him off. And now we will have Sedith swap in and uh, bait out the sword fighter and the troubadour uh, with their odd tempest. Uh, and Byleth will just pass turn. There we go. Uh, the Sword Knight rallies again. Troubadour moves down to attack Sedith, uh, but he uh, just tanks that. And then the Sword Fighter moves down, does a little bit of damage, and we kill him on the counterattack. There we go. All right. Now the Enlightened One has begun to move and we must intercept and take him out before he becomes a threat. Uh, so we're going to have Morgan just move up here uh, so that she's in range to support. Uh, Sedith will move up and attack the Troubadour, take him out, and uh, with that our Gale Force is triggered so that we can instead move over here and take out the Red Mage. There we go. And we are still in range to support with our Speed Death Rain and our Spear of Assault. Uh, so now the Professor can move up and face himself. Take him out. There we go. And Gale Force triggers once again so we can sweep out the Blue Flyer. Goodbye. And from here it's just clean up. We've got this Green Manakeet and the Sword Knight. Uh, we could have Leo tank the Manakeet, but we're just going to pull him back, uh, move him over by Morgan. There we go. Joint Hone Speed activates. Uh, we can have him come over and attack the Manakeet, uh, though I don't think it's necessary. We'll just have Byleth clear it out. This is his test after all. Uh, barely hanging on, but... Uh, finishes the job and Gale Force triggers once again. Morgan will come up and attack the Sword Knight uh, who just barely lives through this iceberg which is actually kind of impressive uh, but still takes 92 damage and now Byleth can finish the job. There we go. Very simple training exercise uh, but the job is done and we have earned the gold floral headband. So yeah, uh, not the most difficult map by any means. Uh, pretty straightforward, no real uh, tricks or shenanigans. Just a very honest and open map. Uh, but with that, we have uh, demonstrated the professor's prowess to himself. Uh, and that's probably a good confidence boost, honestly. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching and uh, joining me on this little training exercise. Uh, hopefully, if you were struggling, it gave you some ideas on how to approach it. And uh, hey, either way, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon and the Angel Army signing out.